That's a really bold statement to make, right? But it's true. This is the absolute best tote bag you'll ever make. Hi friends, Tracy here from the Sewing Channel. Today's video, it's jam packed. We're going to add a flange binding in this really cute bow right here onto our magic two seam tote bag. I make a rookie mistake in today's video. You don't wanna miss it. I keep all the footage in. I have a ton of videos on the magic technique. I will link the playlist down below in the comments. I will post some different measurements for you to try out and those will be in the description box just below this video. Check out my bow. It looks kind of perfect, right? If you stay till the end, I will share with you my secret tip on how I make a perfect bow. This is for all those people in the comments who say, Tracy, this is not a two seam tote bag. Let me tell you, it certainly is. We might do a little bit of sewing here and there. It's two seams. Seam number one connects these two pieces together. Seam number two is a French seam in an L shape. Two seams. <laughs> Enough talking already, let's get busy. In today's video, I'm going to be making the large version of the magic tote bag with that cute little flange all along the edge. For the strapping on this tote bag, I just bought a pre-made 60 inch belt strapping from Walmart. It's made by Dritz and I just cut it in half. I'm going to use this really cute polka dot for my flange today. For the large cotton bow, you'll need two pieces of fabric. Take each piece separately fold right sides together and sew all the way down that seam. Do that on both of these. Take a turning tool or anything that you have to turn these right side out. Here I've taken just a usable plastic straw. I know we all have them, so go in your drawers and look and just poke a hole in one side and put a safety pin on the other. You're just going to put that in there like that, unclip, clip it onto somewhere on the end. This right here is one of the best sewing notions that I made myself in my sewing room. Now give these a good hot press. After everything is all nicely pressed out, just go ahead and give it a slant cut, however deep that you want your slant. I cut just the very tip off for the bulk. And just tuck in those seam allowances so that we can put a top stitch in there. Press them and then top stitch. Now take the opening here fold in once and then fold in again on top of each other and top stitch there. Now don't be mad but when I first filmed this tutorial I used the black silky ribbon. I didn't like it. It wasn't bold enough in color and it definitely wasn't long enough. I made all those changes but I left it all in the tutorial. So yeah. this one and you have the pink bow. Sorry. Right out the gate, let me give you a tiny tip about this ribbon. The accent ribbon is 24 inches in length. Take the one long piece of ribbon, find your middle, fold in once, fold in twice, make two stitches on it, cut right in the center of those two lines. You'll have two little tails and they'll already be connected at the ends. For the top of my magic tote bag, I'm going to use this black because it totally brings out the black in this fabric right here. Take that top, fold it in half, and give it a good hot press, making a memory crease. Let's set this aside for a minute. My flange is a quarter inch shorter on both sides compared to the top of my tote bag. Take your flange, fold in a quarter inch and another quarter inch, and press that. Go on the other side a quarter inch and a quarter inch and press that. Take these ends over to your sewing machine and just put a tiny top stitch all along the edge on both sides. Both ends have two hems on them and then we have that crease all along. Now take those two tails that we made earlier. Take one of those sides of the flange, open it up, and lay your ribbon right inside of where that flange is. Close it up and sew a top stitch all along there catching that ribbon. Now make sure that this part is all nice and flat and you'll do that to both sides of this flange. 
Now we're going to make the markings for our straps. Take your base piece of fabric and fold it in half. On the raw edge over here, not the folded edge, the raw edge right here, you're going to measure in a half an inch all along this open edge. Take the folded edge of your fabric and you are going to bring it up to meet the mark that you just made right there. Slide your finger in here and find the middle from where that meets right there up to here where this is folded. Open it back up. So there's our mark. Let's make it a little darker so you can see it. And this is just heat erasable pen if you're curious. This one's chalk and this one's heat erasable. I'll put them both down in the description box. You can find them. Now take this folded side right here and make it kiss this line right here. Just like before how we did over here, but now we are matching it up with the middle. Once it's matched up there, follow your finger along the inside there. Mark it. Now take this line and make this one kiss over here. Put your finger in there and mark this crease over here. These two marks right here are the ones that I want you to worry about right now. First things first, lift this up and over. Transfer this mark onto this side. Now open up your fabric. I'm going to turn this around so the marks are facing you all. Now take your flange piece right here that already has these two ends sewn on it. You're going to lay the middle of your flange on top of the middle of your base piece. Pop a pin. Get out your straps. Pull this back a little bit and try to find the line right here and the line on the side that you made. Pop a pin right where that line is and put this back like that. Take the end of your strap and find the middle of where that pin is. And then pull the pin out and then pin all of those layers together. The strap, the flange, and the base. Come over here and do the same thing. Pop that pin right where you made that line. Lay your flange down. Find the middle where that pin is. Make sure though that your strap is not twisted in any way because you'll be mad if you sew that twisted, trust me. Line this strap up just like so where the middle is. Unpin and then pin all the layers again back together just like you did over here. Come over here, find those two marks right there and right there. Lay your flange back down, lay your strap right there. Make sure it's right in the middle of that one inch strap, your pin unpin and pin all layers together. Make sure your strap is not twisted. <laughs> unpin and pin all layers back together. I want you to notice on the sides here that you do have a little more than a half an inch, three quarters of an inch over here left on both sides. Let's pop a couple more pins all along here, connecting the flange and the base together. Now I want you to take it to the sewing machine, start here and go a quarter inch all the way down. Stop and back stitch down here. You should have something that looks just like this. Everything is nicely tacked down. Nothing is going to shift at all when we make the magic here in this tote bag. <laughs> Grab the top piece now and put it face up on your table. Now lift the base piece that has all that stuff connected to it and match it up raw edges right there. Match up all along that raw edge. Are you kidding me? Did I twist that? I sure did. Oh my word. Ah Look what I did. I twisted it. <laughs> it happens. It totally happens. So if that happens to you, Unpick one side, <laughs> which I have to do now, then re-sew it untwisted. I've recovered from the fatality. 
Now everything is untwisted and we are ready to add the top onto this tote bag. Take your top piece, put it face up, fold it in half and find the center. Finger press to find the center, open it up, find where you finger pressed and then mark it. Your top is face up. Now grab your base, which is face up as well. And remember the middle right here was where I had that seam, so I know where the middle is. I'm going to lift it up right on top of the middle of the top piece. Lay everything out, press with your hands, making sure that everything is nice and flat. And make sure that your ties are out of the way too. Grab some Wonder Clips. Once everything is clipped all along the edge here, then you're going to take the base piece and roll it up, encasing the straps within there. Be sure not to grab this piece just yet. When you get about up to there close to the flange part, you're then going to grab the middle right here, unclip, lay that down so that all raw edges are meeting up and then reclip that together. Come over here and clip and reclip. So you're going to unclip and reclip all along this edge, encasing all of that in this tube. Take it to your sewing machine and sew a quarter inch all the way down here. Be sure though that you don't sew on your ties. It's a race to see if my camera battery runs out before I get this tutorial done. Here's the magic right here. It's about to happen. You should have this tube. It's all sewn together. <laughs> Grab inside this tube and pull the base of the bag out. Try not to tug on the straps because you don't want to pull anything out. I don't think you would, but just in case. You know, you just sewed it. You don't want it to, you don't want to have to re-sew it, right? I know. I hate redos, so. Ta-da! It's not done yet. <laughs> Press this all out nicely right here. Lift up your straps and press here, press everything down with a hot iron. Once everything is nicely pressed down, you're then going to lift the straps up this way and pin each one as straight as you can get it. The flange lays down this way and then the strap goes up toward the top. Now we're going to take it to the sewing machine. We're going to sew a top stitch here along here, go up, across, down, this way, Go past there, go up this way, this way, and continue on doing that top stitch so that our strap is all nice and sewn down. This is what you should have so far. Now it's time to sew a French seam. You're going to put wrong sides together and pin the pretty straps out of the way. Once everything is nice and even, pop some pins all along this side and bottom. Take it to your sewing machine, sew down here and across here, a quarter inch. After you've sewn around the first time, just trim off some of that excess that's on the bottom, being sure not to cut into the seam itself. This just helps get some of the bulk out of the way with a French seam. Now go ahead and take the pins out of your ribbons and turn it inside out. <laughs> Make sure that you pop the corners out too. I use one of these little pointy things. You really want to make sure though that your pretty straps are totally out of the way so you don't sew over them. So that's the first thing I would do is make sure they're out of the way on the inside and then go ahead and clip. Roll your seam out with your fingers. Now take it to the sewing machine and encase that entire seam with a quarter inch. Everything's been turned right side out and I pressed all along the edges. And look at how cute. This is a big tote bag. <laughs> now if I had more of this ribbon, I would have definitely made that longer. I think a bigger statement bow would have been much better on this bag, but at least it will give you an idea of what you could do. The first thing you're going to do is make that traditional first tie, just like that. The key to a perfect bow is so simple. Take the one that's coming out of the lower end. You never want to take the high one first. Always take 
the tail that's coming out of the bottom. Make your bow like so, take the high one, come over the top, come around, take this end and sort of make a loopy with it like you're like a regular tie with it and pinch it. Then shove it in this hole right here. Perfect bow every time. Until next time on the sewing channel, take care.